Now that there's a new Black Panther on the scene, the balance of power in the MCU is about to change, in more ways than you might think. The official trailer for Black Panther Wakanda Forever teased it, and the movie has no problem confirming it. There's a new Black Panther in town, and her name is Shuri. However, this is not the playful, happy-go-lucky Shuri that fans might remember from Black Panther. Much like her predecessor and brother T'Challa, she goes through a great deal of loss and sorrow before fully embracing her role as Wakanda's protector. Not only does T'Challa himself die unseen in the early stages of the movie, but Wakanda Forever antagonist Namor's attack ends up killing her mother, Queen Ramonda. Shuri starts the movie in denial over the spiritual world and the Black Panther tradition, preferring to focus on science instead. However, Ramonda's death and the impending threat of Namor's Talokan forces cause her to return to an old project, an artificial recreation of the heart-shaped herb. With the help of her old research, T'Challa's DNA, and a gift from Namor, Shuri manages to create a new version of the plant that gives Black Panthers their power and promptly uses it. Up until now, the heart-shaped herb had been treated as a highly unique commodity that was lost forever when Killmonger destroyed the remaining crops. Burn it all! Now that Shuri has figured out a way to replicate the precious plant, however, it might have a huge impact on the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Judging by how Shuri manages to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Namor in the finale, it seems that her artificial heart-shaped herb is comparable to the original, and seems to be at least as potent as the other prominent super-powered substance in the MCU, Abram Erskine's Super Soldier Serum, which famously turned Steve Rogers into Captain America. As it happens, the Super Soldier Serum is a huge deal in the MCU. For decades, scientist after scientist and nation after nation has tried to replicate the effects of Erskine's serum, after the original recipe was lost with Erskine himself. The results of these often dubious experiments have ranged from Red Skull and the Abomination to U.S. Agent and the Flag Smashers. So imagine what will happen when the world finds out that Wakanda is sitting on a substance that can make people at least as powerful as Captain America. The day the world discovers the existence of Shuri's heart-shaped herb could be nearer than you think, too, because there's one person outside Wakanda who already knows about it. Though Riri Williams doesn't witness the entire process of recreating the heart-shaped herb, she is present during Shuri's ingestion ritual. As such, she has a good idea of how the herb is used and of the risks involved. What's more, she specifically requests some for herself after seeing its effects on Shuri. While that line about wanting to try the herb herself is played as a joke, Wakanda Forever establishes Riri as a highly intelligent person with an inquisitive mind. If her rather obvious gadgeteer genius parallels with Tony Stark continue, it would be almost surprising if she didn't end up tinkering with the version of the recipe, or using her connection with Shuri to learn more about the new heart-shaped herb. She might even inadvertently reveal its existence to somebody. If that happens, or Shuri's new heart-shaped herb recipe gets out of Wakanda in some other way, the MCU could be looking at a whole new generation of super soldiers running around the block.